Hey Simmers, Lenny32 here, and I got asked how to set up the career mods um, in game. So we're just going to show you from beginning to end how to do this. I already have a how to add mods video, so if you're trying to just add mods in general, um, please check that out. It's going to be a bit more in depth than this one. Um, but this was because this one is just completely focused on career mods. So the first thing you have to do to add um, custom careers to your game is get the NROS career base mod. The reason for that is every career custom career mod that's created after the NROS has been created has used this um well this particular framework. So we're going to go to NROS careers, which is right here. It's going to pop up, and what this well. The particular mod I'm looking for is this one, the base mod. What this does is, is if you put the base mod into your game, you can put any other custom career mod in and it will work. So whether it's a mod from here um, on NROS or it's a mod from mod The Sims, um, you need to have the NROS base mod. Each and every one of these mods will tell you that, whether you're going for medieval or gardening or, you know, the modeling career, which I hear it's just really enjoyable. Or even the professor career. I think that's kind of cool to be a professor. Um, they're each going to tell you in the install instructions, or anywhere pretty much, is that you need to add the um, NROS career, which is right here. It, says, it tells you right here that whatever custom career you adding to your game, you must have the NROS base mod installed first. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to grab it right now. So you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and you click that download button. It's going to pop up something um, and then you're going to save. And yeah. Now I need a uh, another mod, I guess a practice mod. Um, a trial mod to kind of add to the game so I can show you what happens when you have all of those. Now in my other, uh, the Assassin's Tale mod, I have the Assassination Career mod, but it's not actually a career except you add the family, which is the mobster career. The Assassination Career mod is actually just a custom skill that allows you to keep track of your killing sprays. Um, the family mod is now the mobster career, which is a full-time career based on the movie The Departed. Um, you can even have the unemployed career mod, which kind of just say, sits there as a placeholder to stop EA from giving your sim a job. Um, so if you wanted a stay-at-home mom, um, you can do the unemployed, but I would actually tell you to do the homemaker because you actually get paid to have your sim be a stay-at-home mom. Um, you get more money and you advance faster by cooking and cleaning and keeping everyone happy at home. Um... So these are just the NROS career mods. There are other ones on Mod the Sim and Cinema Asylum and Missy Hissy. Or there are just a lot of other websites that have a lot of other different um, careers, custom careers that you can add to your game. But the most important thing is before you can add any of them, you must add the base mod, which is what we're going to do. Okay, let's go ahead and view downloads. Yikes, that's a lot of stuff. As you can see, I do very much enjoy my mods. Um, but anyway, so here it is. Right at the top, the N. Ross Careers version 85, I guess. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use 7-Zip to extract it. It's going to pop up all the way at the bottom here. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy that whole entire folder. Jump into my documents. My Electronic Arts, The Sims 3, your Mods folder in The Sims 3, um, Packages, and I'm going to actually go ahead and create a new folder. And I'm going to call it NRAAS Mods. Now, I like to create folders in my Packages folder just so I can keep my mods in, I don't know, I guess straight or ordered. I can keep my mod, my mods properly ordered. So 
when it's time to upgrade like all the unrest mods they're all in one folder um they're not just like 60 different mods just chilling or hanging out especially if you also add um cc that comes in the dot package form which is looks like this then you're going to put those in your packages folder you also want those to be a bit more um orderly than just kind of hanging around just you know in a long list here so that's why i add folders to mine um but yeah so officially right now the vod is officially in the game now if you are trying to figure out 7-zip and you're trying to figure out how to create a mods folder and all that please do stop this video and go to my how to add mods video sorry yeah how to add how to install the sim mods in the sims 3 or something like that i'm going to also put the link to my how to add mods video in the descriptions of this video just so that you know how to properly do that because like i said this is not a video telling you how to add mods it's just showing you specifically this career mod and how to work that um so yeah i need a practice mod to add in really quickly even though i did use the assassination career um mod it was just a custom skill so it didn't really go over what you know all of this is um so hmm which mod would be good to try let's go with the homemaker mod um because i know a lot of you really do enjoy having your stay-at-home sim that takes care of the kids while your other sim goes out to work or wherever to, you know make that cash so we'll go ahead and we'll grab the homemaker um and we'll download that and then i'm also going to go to mod the sims just to show you that other mods that aren't just um nros mods work with this so i'm going to pick one eesh, randomly i know there are some mods like the profession the professor career needs university there's some that needs pets, there's some that are base game only, and there's some that are just, you know, other expansion packs compatible. Um, the Homemaker career mod is um, pretty much, you can use it with the base game or you can use it with whatever, it just works. So I'm going to see if I can find, yeah, let me see if I can find a mod that is base game compatible just for, you know, the simmers out there that uh, don't have all of the um expansion packs or stuff packs Ooh, psychology or modeling you know i'm gonna pick modeling obviously so yeah definitely 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 want to do this and here it says it right here you need the custom career mods from twalians which is the nros mod right here you need it the base mod to make this career work for any career you need this um like i reiterate it over and over again um so the rabbit hole is the theater and oh that's so cool so it's just off with a negative salary because obviously to get into the business you do have to pay for a lot of headshots and um an agent and all that good stuff so you do start off losing money but eventually you will pick up from there if you're doing what you're supposed to be doing correctly now this gives you all the instructions and what everything you know does but i'm just going to go ahead and download it by clicking on files now to get anything from um mod the sims you have to be signed in see right here i'm signed in as hi lenny 42 that's moi um so you ha it's a free account you do it for free you don't it doesn't cost you anything but you know the the minute and a half it takes for you to register um and then you'll be able to download all the mods and custom content that you want so i'm gonna go ahead and download this all right here we go do you want it yes let's save okay so i've got my two career mods that i'm adding i've got the modeling career and the homemaker career Whew. all right okay so i'm gonna go in here to on um, da, 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 da my downloads where i should have the two careers that i have here okay so same thing seven zip extract two for both of them and they're going to show up at the bottom and i'm going to take them both and put them in my mods folder which is this one 
my packages folder, I'm going to go ahead and paste. I'm going to put the career homemaker in the NROS mods folder. Then I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it MTS mods. And I'm going to put my mod the sim mods in there. Boom! Done. Sims 3. So I'm going to go ahead and head into game and I'll show you guys how all this works. When you add mods to your game, this mod scripts found thing pops up. It shows you the mods, not all of them, but most of the mods that are in your game. The ones that we added have shown up here. So if you don't see this, then you haven't done anything before correctly. So go back and do it all again. Um, but yeah, we're here. It's good. So we're good to go. I've already created a family in Starlight Shores that would be perfect for the homemaker and the modeling career mods. So we are going to go and play the games, um, which has the man, the woman, and the little toddler who's so adorable. Okay, so here is my beautiful family. The Toddler Margaret, the Lady Carrie, and the guy George. Now, George is the homemaker. Carrie is going to be the model, and little Margaret, well, she's going to be all she can be as a toddler. Okay, let's get these guys a career. So, the modeling career, I think, is at the theater. So, we're going to head over there and send Carrie to go get that job which is modeling join modeling um the homemaker career will be at city hall because it's actually more of a profession than a career so we're going to take george um over to city hall if i can find it ah there and he is going to register as a professional Homemaker. Now, all the other ones are grayed out because you need one skill level to register as an angler or, or you know, a painter or whatever. But for homemaker, thankfully, there are no one skill levels you need. So he can just start off right away just like that, which I think is pretty great. See, they'll keep asking you for that one skill level for all of them um, apart from the homemaker one because it is a custom career, which is actually more of a custom profession than a career but whatever we're just gonna do it anyway click 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 um okay great so let's get this party started wait what's going on what's happening the baby at home so i'm gonna go ahead and put the baby in the stroller and let's see i mean i don't know if i can go to and try and go to one of the community lots with her that way. Let's see. Do, do, do. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Copy. Give a door. Ah, there we go. She's shown up. Available jobs modeling. She will be a model wannabe. From 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday to Friday. Ooh. Have you always wanted to stretch your stuff on a runway? Do you think you look good in photos? Or even in person? Do you think that you have what it takes to become a top model? Well, why don't you join modeling? Accept. Here we go. Congratulations. Carrie just got a new job. Carrie needs to be at the Hoy Poily Event Center at 9 a.m. on Monday. Carrie's boss is Catherine Best. Having a good relationship with your boss never hurts. Okay, let's go click on Carrie and see what her career panel looks like. She's got model wannabe. It's negative $10 an hour. Um, she needs to work on Charisma, Athletic, and also get cool with her boss. So let's go right ahead and, oh, 
okay. Just go and chat with your boss who you're already friends with. I don't know how that happens since it's a brand new game, but okay. And, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and chat with her. And then you are going to have to go, let's see, let's see, we'll just take you and read up on Charisma. Okay, so we're going to click on the bookcase and we're going to read um, a Charisma book so she can learn that. Okay, now let's go over to the guy and see how far he's gotten. Yuppie! Come on, little boy! Yuppie! Zugo Bada! Homemaker, the government has enacted a grant system to entice more Sims to stay home and care for their home and children. If you already have a mind to do so anyways, then why not get paid for it as well? Responsibilities for this career. Earn money maintaining your home as a nurturing environment to raise a family. Do you want to register as self-employed? They're, they're, the two that I added, which is the homemaker um, career from Enros and the modeling career that I got from Mod The Sims, although there are, like, I think three different types of modeling um, careers, and, like, they're, the one that I have works out of the theater, but there's also one that works out of the um, movie set from um, Late Night. But for all of them, you have to work on your athletic skill, your charismatic skill, and your celebrity points. So I had her just now on the treadmill, kind of working out a little bit to get that up. Um, and I gave her all of these traits, even though in actually what she really needs is just charismatic or, you know, schmoozer and um, athletic. Those are two traits that she should have because those are the things that actually um, work with this particular career. And also star quality, like the one that actually gives you... Um, Makes it easier for you to befriend celebrities. It's just sweet um, star quality. Um, that's also a good one to have. So I should have given her charismatic and athletic to go with star quality. But I didn't because I thought it would be really funny for her to be an irresistible diva who's dramatic. Um, and the other ones are just, you know, helpful skills that she, she can learn anyway. So that's what goes with the modeling career. Those, um, you know, the athletic, the charismatic really work with that um it even shows up here and you know a relationship with your boss the homemaker career which comes from Enros. the thing about this is that it's actually a profession i mean it's not called that but it's kind of works the same way as a profession does um something like this self-employed um careers which they call professions and ambitions because you have the job experience, which if you have the testing sheets enabled <laughs> on for, for any profession, you can pretty much just pull that job experience bar up until you get to the next level. That's just how it works for the professions. For actual careers, you can't do that, but for professions, you can. So I thought that's pretty cool. And for this one, take care of the kids, keep the house clean, and uh, yeah, and you cook. <laughs> so those are the three main things you do with the homemaker career. You have to teach your kids all their skills, make sure that they actually grow up to be, you know, like amazing savants or whatever. And just to keep your house clean, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, making the beds, doing the laundry, cleaning up, like upgrading, repairing appliances and things like that. And it's just, uh, when you have one kid, it's not, not such a big deal, but as you know, it keeps getting higher and higher. You will have an issue where you have to take care of all of the kids as well as the house. So do be aware of that. Um, 
and that's it so this is literally these are just how these two careers work and you can add any custom career just make sure like i said before that you have the base enros career mod and then you can get any career from any other or a profession from any other website from any other part of the internet um, and put that in your mods folder and you're good to go it'll show up where it's supposed to be which is um it'll tell you with the mod where you know where to go for if it's self-employed you go to city hall if it isn't, then you have to go to that actual building. And that is my cue to go. So Lenny42 here. Um, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and um, happy swimming, everyone. Lenny42 signing out.